I've gotten a lot of comments regarding the 1N34A versus the Schottky diode for use in crystal radio detection. And a lot of those comments say that the Schottky diode is far superior, it's louder, cleaner versus the 1N34A. And okay, so let's uh, put this to bed once and for all. Uh, we can test that and see which one produces a clearer, more stable signal and also a louder signal for a given input. Back here, I've got my frequency generator and it's set to the upper end of human hearing, 2400 or 24,000 Hertz. And over here, I have my analog scope. I found out my digital scope doesn't work very well for this kind of thing. So let me sneak my hand in here uh, and we'll first, we'll test the upper end of human hearing. There is the Schottky diode. You can see the waveform right there. Um, well, reasonably stable, not very big. Uh, and we can compare that to the 1N34A, much more stable and a bigger sine wave. Okay, let's move towards the center of human hearing somewhere. That's good enough. There's the Schottky diode. Um, not a very stable wave. And then the 1N34A, a bigger wave and much more stable. And then let's test the bottom end. Let's go down to about 4,000. Um, yeah, not much of a wave and not very stable. And then the 1N34A. So, I mean, this is what the 1N34A was designed to do. It's an analog device. Um, it's made for detection of very weak signals. And that's what it does best. And frankly, I haven't found anything superior to it. Okay, well, I hope that answers the questions about the Schottky versus the 1N34A.